Hi, good morning. My name is Shay, I'm the lesbian believer, and um, I had a very pro profound moment um, earlier this morning. I did my usual routine. I was on my way to work. Um, I usually work uh, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 2. And there's just something different about the day. There's actually been something very significant about the energy um, this entire week and probably the previous week. Um, I've been seeing, um, I'm sure um, maybe you guys can relate to this, but there's been a lot of increases in spiritual warfare, like a lot of negative um, offshoots and energy just sort of um, circulating out in um, our reality. Um, there's a lot of shifts, a lot of things are coming up to be resolved. There's a lot of um, spiritual judgment um, out there. And so today I wanted to, um, you know, uh, get on here and um, because it's happening to me right now. As a matter of fact, I should probably tell you the backstory about um, what I experienced. So um, this morning I was to start work at six o'clock and you know, there was a male coworker and uh, he has been leaving early. And so I was listening to my music. I was just getting into my, Zen, my other coworker, he was running late. So I think everything happens for a reason. You know, God doesn't put us in situations just for happenstance. And I mean, the enemy, of course, he does what he does because, you know, he's trying to test you. But um, this man um, tried to physically assault me. Um, and my company basically was like, oh, whatever. And mind you, um, I was up for a promotion um, and I uh, decided to decline it. This isn't for me. So, um, you know, I just, this whole quid quo pro, whatever you want to call it, you know, I'm not going to like sit there and let somebody abuse me and um, step over my boundaries. So we live in a very narcissistic society. Um, so anyways, um, here are five signs your life is about to explode to the next height. And um, first I'd like to say glory to God. Um, God isn't just for heterosexual people. I know these people, they feel like it's a sin, but God doesn't make mistakes. Um, you know, I didn't come here expecting to be a lesbian. <laughs> Always sidetracked. So anyways, um, so let's get into this. Like I got my um, Book of Life journal. Absolutely adore this journal. I journal in it. Um, I'm going to be putting a lot of my YouTube videos in it. So um, the first sign um, that you are about to explode to the next height in your life, that um, some sort of divine intervention is about to take place and you're about to get a bunch of ideas. I was going to say the S word, but I'm catching myself. You know, I've been crying earlier. I guess it's just been like, why? But, you know, I get that, that inspiration just to get back and, and keep on fighting. So um, you're going to get explosions of spiritual warfare. Okay, so, um, you know, unfa unfair treatment by bosses who protect mediocre or, or problem employees. And just in general, this doesn't just only apply to the workplace, but you'll notice that there's always like the people that, you know, are just like, Red of the mill people who aren't really adding anything positive. Um, you know, these are your gossipers, like you're the people that um, all move the same way that are like the worldly people. They all get a like sort of like a reprieve, like they're accepted. Um, you can do no right, however. Um, you know, people look at you sideways because you definitely stand out. And, you know, it, keep on standing out because, you know, there's a reason why, you know, you are that change that the spiritual warfare is trying to fight against to materialize into the physical world. You know, we are definitely building heaven on earth, but there's a lot of explosions, a lot of revelations in terms of like the, you know, the demonic forces that are coming out here, like the corruption, the greed, um, the human trafficking, all these like flesh oriented, like so-called temporary feel good things. Like these people are all engaged in that. And if you have no, um, appreciation of the temporary and you like definitely are a you know a daughter or son of God and you walk with God and you don't subscribe to their mentality then they're gonna look at you weird and then another thing that you will notice is um, that you know um, for example like these people will just attack you like I got attacked today like this guy got physically in my face and like threatened my life um, and before that, yesterday I was on the bus, like I was on my way home and um, there was this lady and she got on the bus, she didn't have any money and she just started attacking the bus driver, like calling her like all kinds of things outside of the child of God. And, you know, um, like she threw a, a tantrum on the bus and then she asked some guy outside of the bus if 
she could borrow his shoes and then she was really disrespectful to him. Just a lot of disrespect. Um, so anyways, moving along. Number two, um, you're gonna feel lost and unsure of what your purpose is, you know, because you're gonna feel like whatever it is that you're doing in the moment um, is definitely not your purpose. Now, I've been struggling with this for some time. Like I know I'm supposed to do something where I'm supposed to like help people in some capacity, like be of service. And I feel like I'm not really like making the impact that I really wanna make. And so even though like in the jobs that I work, um, which are beneath my skill level, I try to add that sort of dynamic. Um, it's just not enough. And I've been wasting my energy on these jobs. Um, I also have a creative uh, side to me. I like to write music. I, you know, I like to create art. Um, but I also like doing things within the community, like things that are engaging, like I like working with children. I um, really appreciate the, the older generation. Um, but I often find myself alone because I'm at odds a lot of time. But another thing that you will notice in this whole thing is that you have um, some created, um, elevated uh, creativity. So all of a sudden you'll get all these like crazy ideas and some of them are probably like, um, you should really put those into effect. Like lately I've been taking the opportunity to record things on my, um, the voice memo on my iPhone, you know, so I can remember them. I can go back and actually put these projects into action. And so um, hopefully, well, actually, I'm going to make it happen um, because there is no hopefully. I've been called to do something and I'm going to do it. Um, you know, so if you are somebody who is um, following the, um, you know, the unconventional path, then there's something very unique about you. There's something you are here to do. Um, and in your own time, you'll get the fire and the spark to go do it. The other thing is you have, you have like these new interests um, that lead to uh, growth. Uh, so God's leading you in a direction to leave things behind. I, I um, had a little hiccup. So I decided to become like detoxified, like get off of like the anti-anxiety, antidepressants and things like that um, because um, they weren't really serving me. Um, I wasn't particularly keen on that. So this is all withdrawn out of my system right now. But the other thing too that I've noticed is that uh, you know, I used to like to drink beer and, you know, do shots of Jameson, hang out and play pool and all that. And I'm not so interested in that anymore. I tried um, a couple of days ago. I had a really bad headache. I was sick, like, for a whole day. I went to work. When I got off work, I stayed in bed the whole day. Like, I was able to make, like, you know, I had made dinner the night before, so I had leftovers. But it was not a good experience. So I knew then that God was like, you know, you're on the right path. Like, don't go back. Don't go backwards. You know, keep trudging forward, you know? And then um, the other thing, um, like, number three is that um, isolation. Um, I've always been a lone wolf. Um, like, I've always done things differently. Just, that's, like, just naturally how I am. But um, sometimes you want to be around people. But I am choosing to stick alone and read um, the word because there are things that I need to catch up on. Um, it's funny too, because when I was in my, my early 20s, like I always wanted to read the Bible, but um, the words like look differently. And then like, um, you know, right before the pandemic, I started reading the Bible and like it was, you know, like the words came to life and then they all of a sudden they made sense. And so like I was like, everything that I need is within God's word. And so like, I just, you know, I'm using this opportunity to, you know, build a stronger co co connection with God and to also learn the word. And I've like changed my, my focus from like all of the worldly stuff and like really like being around the same energy where there are people that are engaged with the word and like the fellowship of God, you know, Jesus, like, you know, like that's where we are right now. You know, like there's like so many things going on in this world. And like, you know, I can't talk about these things. I'm gonna post this on YouTube and all that. And, you know, they, they, in moderating this stuff and then um you know you're not um interested in the status quo activities like there's a lot of sexual morality and stuff like that that's going on i'm not interested in any of that I, it's just not my cup of tea i never really was but when i was younger and i didn't know any better and i didn't know um, who i am in god like in christ and all that like i was like likely to try to like attempt to sort of like align a little bit more with it because you know there was all this pressure and then i realized that you know, you know, as I've gotten older, I've gotten a lot more comfortable realizing that that's not it. It's just not it. 
you know, you allow demons and bad voices in your head, you know, so we're not doing that anymore. So moving along to number four, um, abruptly quitting a job or stopping um, anything that you have that no longer you have the heart for. If you can't put your all into it, like, I don't believe in doing anything I don't believe in. And um, this is a very pivotal point in my life right now. God has definitely directed me to someplace else. Um, and I'm just following the path. I'm trusting God. I'm trusting him and I'm listening. I've got my ear down to the ground. I'm committed. Um, you know, I trust that everything will work out. Like I had two jobs, um, you know, it's working all these hours. So the one that I quit, like, you know, that they are giving me this promotion and everything, you know, like I'm actually glad that I, I just left that job behind the other company. I like a lot more because they're more like um, aligned with the values of like humanity and stuff like that. They're like a much um, more accountable company. Um, so it's nice that I still have a job, but um, eventually I my goal is to completely commit myself 100% to God and be independent of, um, you know, someone else's income, like going to doing my own thing, running my own company, my own business. Um, and then um, number five is, um, being open to taking expansive risks. And what I mean by that um, essentially is that, um, you know, you trust yourself enough to have the confidence to know that, um, you know, despite what all of the physical things in the world are, like the, the, the circumstances of those things are, anything is possible through God. So, you know, that job that's holding you back from your purpose, quit it. Um, but if you have children, there's other things, but you'll know when it's gonna work out for you. Fortunately for me, it's just me by myself. So, you know, I don't have any family. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty much, um, you know, um, estranged from my family. I, I came from a very toxic uh, family. They, like, just, there's no love in it. Like, just very, like, psychopathic. Like, it really sucks because I really love my nieces and nephews, but I had to make a a huge decision to just disconnect from my family because um, they, like, I don't want to go into the details, but you know, a lot of us, we are where we are for a reason. Um, and so I'm finally just getting in there. Like I've been doing the work um, and I've stopped looking for external validation when you don't have to look, like, it doesn't matter what people think. They can think whatever, like they may think I'm crazy for the stuff that I just did today, like just like walking out. You know, enough is enough, you know, it's not serving anything um, in the, the greater cause. Um, there's a lot of like these people come to work and they, you know, there's drugs and alcohol and lying and that stuff is rewarded. Like, but when somebody like I'm telling the truth and like I'm looked at like sideways, you know, so no more of this. Like we're not like backing down. We're, bring, we're, we're bringing the light to the world. We are bringing the light to the world. <laughs> Like, the world is, has been waiting for us. And I know there's less of us, but there's a lot more power in the kingdom of God. Remember that, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm going to take off. Um, I'm going to be posting more videos um, from here on out. Um, I'm going to be a lot more committed to what I'm doing. Like, I've been told to do this for a long time. Like, this is probably going to be more of a variety channel. Like, I'm not very much of a focused person, but there's always going to be, like, a common thread and the whole thing. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, until next time, this is Shay, the Lesbian Believer.